hey guys welcome back so um remember the video i posted the last time so after i shared the short rose design with you guys uh one of you sent me this picture and asked me how she can make that particular design it's kind of like a v shape you see that yeah so i was like okay i'll make a video about it and that's what today's video is all about yeah so the other previous video i was sharing you guys how to use short rows making parallel lines yeah i design with parallel lines and if you haven't watched that video please check it out and find it on my page and don't forget to subscribe as you do that yeah so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create that kind of v design in your work all right so let's start So guys, I've already cast on and to look at the picture again, um, you guys can see that it has two colors, the black and then the other color and they needed a couple of rows first for black, a couple of plain rows of black, yeah, and then started off with the V design with the other color, yeah, so let me need a couple of black rows and then we'll start. So if you've noticed this design is starting from the middle of the work yeah so i'm going to into a couple of rows then i'll show you how we start off with the design from the middle of the work okay so let me need about 20 rows okay so that's enough okay so now we'll have to find the middle of our work here yeah? so i cast on 30 by 30 that means i have to find like okay so my zero point is here so i'll pull out all these other needles the needles opposite the carriage yeah my carriage is here so the needles on the other side are the ones i'm pulling out and I'm pulling out in the starting from the middle part of the work because our design is going to start from the mid of our work, okay? Now, when we are working on such a design, guys, I decided to make a picture for you guys. I can't believe I thought I was recording this and I wasn't here. Yeah? So let me show you guys. So this is what, what we want to make looks like, yeah? So this is the base of our work. Then we have that first plot that is just the same color which I've knitted here. And then that is where our V starts from, okay? So we have, I've named these parts. I've named this A, the side B, and B, and the side C, okay? So when we are knitting this, we are going to start off with this side A first, okay? And then we'll also do side B first, next rather, and then we'll end with side C. You get that, people? Yeah so you can you definitely see that the vistas from the middle of our work yeah so let's start off with our side here yeah? so what i did um i pulled these needles were all backwards remember so i backwards so i put them to the non-working position yeah i had to find the midpoint of my work i'm sorry guys i did this off camera thinking that it was recording it it wasn't but anyway so this is the midpoint of my work so i brought out the needles that are opposite to the carriage my carriage is here so i pulled out these other needles from the middle of my work that is from point zero okay and then we also have to make sure our machine is in hold position so before we weren't using hold now i put it in hold in hold position and then we start knitting yeah so i'm going to be knitting one row and then I, rem I also bring another needle to hold position. Knit one row, bring another needle to hold position. So this is how I do that. You knit one. Okay. Then you bring a needle out to non-working position. Knit one. Bring out the next needle. Knit one bring out knit one bring out knit one bring out knit one Ooh. so bring out and hold 
in it. Put another needle in hold. Neat. So I'm going to do that until I'm done with all these needles, yeah? So let me run this a bit faster. So guys, I'm done with all the rows, yeah? I'm done knitting um, all the rows. So all my work is now in hold position, yeah? So now, like I showed you guys in our picture, we started with this part, A, and like I said, now next we'll be knitting part B, yeah? So the same thing we've done here is the same thing we are going to do this side, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move my machine towards this side now. Since my machine is in hold position, it's definitely not going to need, okay? So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove my machine from hold position, okay? So that when I move it, so that I can move it to the other side where I want it to need, yeah? So, I'll move it there. And that's it. Now I'll put it in hold position again. Um, I'll put it in hold again, yeah. Then we do the same thing we did the other side. So I'll find my midpoint again, I think it's here. Then I'll pull all these other needles on this side to hold. Okay. And then we'll start doing the same thing over again. Knit one, pull out, knit one, pull out, pull out, pull out, knit one, pull out, knit, pull out, knit, pull out one, knit, pull out one. Now I'm going to run it first again because we're doing the same thing. And that's it. So we're at the edge of the work. I'll still remove the machine from hold and knit one row to this other side, yeah? Okay, so guys, now what we have done, if you can even see my work, it has meat flesh on this side and this side, but my midpoint is small, okay? So that's what I was talking about here, that we did this side first, and this side first next now we have to start on our v shaping the v yeah so now to shape the v now find your midpoint that midpoint that we've been playing our starting from find it okay and now we are going to get our other color that we are using i'm using this blue so now that we have this blue i'm going to attach the color that i'm going to use on that blue okay and hand knit with it just like that okay and then I'll take it and put it inside our carriage so let me remove this okay then I'll have the one we are going to use inside the carriage okay and then and then now I'm going to bring all the other needles into I'm going to bring them out into the hold position except that one in the middle that I've knitted on, okay? So I'm bringing all needles out to hold, except the one in the middle that I've knitted on, and I'm putting my machine back in hold position, okay? And then make sure that the yarn you're using to knit is on top of the needles, on top, lying on top like that. Okay, so I'm going to knit one. And that's it, the machine has knitted. Now, I'm going to pull out one needle on either side of this needle in the middle, yeah? Let me bring my work. Let me first bring the camera closer, yeah? 
so this is the need I pulled out in the middle that has knitted so I'm bringing one next to it backwards to the working position and even one on this side backwards to the working position so I've taken back two needles on either side of the one in the middle and then I knit one okay now you know what I'm doing then I knit one then I do the same thing again so pull out one on this side pull back one on this side and also one on this other side knit one okay pull back knit once pull back knit once and that is how we are shaping our V yeah? Good step for a moment here. Yeah. Okay, so pull back on either side. Knit once. Pull back one on either side. Knit once. Pull back one on either side. Knit once. So let me continue with this faster. I'm going to do this until I have all the needles finished, like our picture shows. Or if I may show you guys the picture again. Yeah, that's our picture. So we've started working on this, which is what we have here. Okay, so it goes all the way to the end, all the way to the end. So that's what I'm making until all the needles are finished. So I've pulled back, I knit one, pull back, knit one. Let me run it first now. Guys, um, almost at the end, these are the last needles, and that's it. Have you guys seen how we've created the design? Wow, this is lovely! You guys see the design? So, up this design just continues with that same color, and then the V will just be in the middle. So, you, you just continue knitting now with the same color you're using, and you've already created your design, yeah. So That's it guys, lovely, lovely, lovely. That's it. Um, I'm sure you like the video, so please do give it a like. If you appreciate it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Drop for me any questions you have still in the comment section. Please do give the video a like. Leave a comment for me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.